Thank you, uh, Dr. Anurag Batra and team for having me. Uh, the session says expert. Uh, my son is born in this generation, so I don't, I'm finding it really hard to communicate with my 16 year old. So I'm hardly an expert is what I'd like to say, but I'll still try uh, talk through some slides. Uh, can we have the presentation now, please? Yeah. So uh, the impossible topic I'm supposed to speak about is how to market to Gen Zs. Again, I'm not an expert, but just giving you uh, a couple of maybe uh, thoughts about how we approach this. Um, why are they attractive? I think it's an obvious question. Every consumer is attractive. As a bank, uh, we actually have people who are as young as 18, even younger, sometimes we have children on the count, and people who are you know, uh, senior citizens as well. So there's a big range of people, and uh, honestly, the most profitable customers start becoming profitable when they have money, so that usually does not happen when you are uh, very young. However, it's super important in our category to catch them young and then grow with them, right? And my view is that all of the really large banks in India today have done that uh, when you know, people like us were just starting our jobs. Uh, the, some key differences for this audience is obviously they're digitally native, like you just heard. Um, it is, they're almost like androids, like the phone is attached to their body. Uh, and uh, I don't know if easier to reach is correct, but yeah, you can target them. Uh, I was listening to somebody from Mintra last week, and they were saying that while the ticket size on Mintra, if I remember correctly, uh, was 500 for Gen Z versus, uh, I think, 1,200 for millennials, the amount of transactions, the times they transact were double that of millennials, right? So if you look at total value, they are uh, a valuable seg segment. And uh, I think like all consumers, like all human beings, uh, loyalty is very difficult to find, but when you find that with this generation as well, uh, it's not... Uh, it's something that sticks, right? So I think the problem with a lot of us who, are, who worked for so many years and had this fixed way of thinking is we are now confronted with this generation that, uh, that actually spends their time very differently. And uh, you f wonder, like for a bank like ours, like how do you take w what we stand for and customize it for this audience, right? So that's the definition of Gen Z. So my son's born 2008, so that's when I realized I'm making an impossible presentation. Uh, but, you know, to understand the generation, it's actually always good to travel back in time because there's always been a generation that's been exciting to talk about, right? So five years back, people would be talking about millennials. And the behavioral characteristics of every generation is shaped by what's around them, right? So you need to understand what their formative years are like and therefore market to them accordingly. Now, there are brands that have actually, uh, you know, thrived across these generations. I've been lucky enough to work for one of these brands. And uh, these brands, uh, I used to work for Coca-Cola. Uh, I'm not pushing them here, but it's one of those brands that's been around 135 years. You speak to them about who their TG is, it's always the teens. And they've done this multiple you know, generations over. You can say the same for Royal Enfield, homegrown brand. Uh, I think they've done a superb job in you know, really making themselves relevant uh, over the last 10 odd years. So I think the real conversation is about how do you build brands that last, last for generations and not specifically for this audience. Of course, there are some tactics you'll have to use, but that's really the question that we want to answer. And for that, I, foundational elements are really required. You cannot be a branch, brand that keeps changing your mind. Every five years, you know, I'm going to be about this, I'm going to be about that tomorrow. So your core values and brand purpose are super important. And having that defined, uh, is how you get to this TG eventually. Because if you're inconsistent, they will call you out, right? And I'll show you some examples of what we've done with Axis Bank. Obviously, I work for them, so I'm only going to present Axis Bank cases. Uh, so the first thing that we try to define is why do we exist? So what would happen tomorrow if Axis Bank shut down? Right? Who would miss us? Why would they miss us? Or is it just another bank shutting down, right? And of course, some inconvenience and the news that goes with it. Uh, in our mind, this is our point of view. Uh, I, I, I think I quoted Nike earlier on the uh, was on my slide. Nike's point of view or their brand purpose is they say that if you're a body, you're, uh, you have an, you're an athlete, right? And therefore, Nike's job is to make you the best version of an athlete that you can be. Our purpose, a little bit more boring, of course, uh, is that we are saying that we will be open to you as a customer, and because of that, we'll deliver lasting value. Now, that value might not be monetary value, that value could also be just the advice that we're giving you, right? The value could be how you plan your financial health over a period of time. 
the value could be just be saying, you know, you should probably just not invest in this uh, FD right now and hold your money. It could be anything, any conversation. Uh, there's a great example of where uh, I think somebody approached our branch manager saying he wanted a loan. And then I think he later figured out that that was not the right product for him and gave him a better product. So things like that. And therefore, uh, the things that make us who we are are warmth, empathy, kindness, and options, right? There's a famous saying, and I don't know, I should, I should say it, but HDFC and uh, ICICI are the bigger brands uh, in this category. And they, uh, for example, invested in other things. Like right? HDFC has very strong processes. Uh, ICICI also has very strong tech uh, platforms. Uh, our joke is that we had our people, right? And therefore, we had to be warm, et cetera. But it's very, very important that whatever you say is your value or your brand purpose, it has to come from who you are. You can't just make it up, right? Just because today technology is all around you, you can't just suddenly say, I'm a big tech company. You're not, right? So it has to come from my values. So for us, that's our point of view. Being open creates lasting value. Creating lasting value is our purpose. And uh, we do it with these values. Obviously, the consumer-facing proposition is open. I'm not going to spend some time here, but basically, this is our philosophy. This is what we live by. Uh, of course, we, we don't, we're not perfect. We make mistakes. Uh, but this is what we try and do every day when we come to work, when that person goes to the retail branch, or if it's some, somebody who works in a subsidiary, right? Um, this is, I was lucky enough to gen, uh, you know, inherit this. So like you say, as, as a brand custodian, you're never, you're just pay, passing the baton on, right? So uh, this is not work that we did. But in terms of how do we address the topic today, I think there are four things. Again, I think it's generic. Maybe a couple of things are a bit more... Uh, uh, required with this generation. So first thing is authenticity, right? In a world uh, 20 years back, you could talk to customers, like Dr. Batra was saying. Right now, customers can talk back to you. So if you make a mistake or you do something, you say something and you do something else, they will figure it out and they will call you out on it. And especially with this generation, right? I don't know if some of you have team members from this generation uh, in the Gen Zs. They're the ones who will add you on Instagram. In the, old, in the olden times, nobody would ask you, add you on social media. The moment they quit the company, Maybe you'll get a social media uh, invite, but now all the kids who are, you know, 27, 28, sorry, I'm really old, that's why I say kids, uh, they, they add you, right? So being authentic is super important, uh, and not just as a brand, as a consumer, I think as a boss, as a person, if you're not authentic, this generation will call you out. Uh, having technology is important. It can't be your strategy, but it is important. Having propositions, of course, that's curated to this audience is important. And I think the final thing is about how do you share the spotlight with them? Now, to keep this interesting, I'm going to play some ads, and I don't know, um, I'm hoping the sound works. Uh, guys at the console, uh, if you could dim the lights while I play this, please. I'll just give you an example of how, uh, this is what we did for Republic Day, I think, last year. Uh, just, we think it's authentic, but uh, you guys, let me know. Is the sound on? No? Just go back. I checked if the video was playing, I didn't check the sound, so that's on me. So this is something that we did uh, in 2023 uh, for Republic Day. We picked these days and the idea is again to use social media uh, to create conversation with uh, Gen Z customers or even millennials, right? Like I said, the medium has changed, they can talk back to you, so the more you can create conversations, uh, unlike traditional media, we measure that as a point of success. So how many conversations have we created, how many likes, how many shares, that's a metric that we chase uh, at, at the bank. If it's taking too much time, we can't do it, then it's fine. Okay. Guys? Done? I don't have control of the slides anymore. I'll find I just go back. Let's play this. Aaj, is Republic Day event me? Speech use de ne bulaya hai. Jo kud baat hi ne kar sakta.
सब सोचते हैं जो बोल या सुन नहीं सकता वही साइन लैंग्वेज में बात करता है गलत सोचते हैं अब एक बात बताइए आप में से किस किस को साइन लैंग्वेज आती है किसी को नहीं <laughs> एक बात बताइए जब हम मिलते हैं तो क्या करते हैं नमस्ते कोई दूर जाता है तो बाय कुछ भूल जाते हैं कुछ याद आता है किसी से गुस्सा करते हैं किसी से प्यार जताते हैं किसी की नजर उतारते हैं <laughs> हमारी हाँ में हमारी ना में हमारी वाह वाह में हमारी दुआ में हम सब इंडियन साइन लैंग्वेज ही तो बोलते हैं कोई कम बोलता है कोई थोड़ा ज्यादा और हम हम यही बोलते हैं अब बताइए आप सब में से किस किस को साइन लैंग्वेज आती है schedule of the indian constitution india has 22 recognized languages let's add the common language we all speak to this list the indian sign language taki bhasha ka har zariya rahe open access bank dil se open so um there's still a lot of work to do 16% of india's population actually uses the sign language they walk a lot of them don't walk into our branches today because the people in the uh, in the branch can't speak this language uh, in terms of being authentic one of the things we are trying to do and it's taking a lot of time is trying to create a tech platform that will enable our branch staff to actually converse with these people uh, that's wip but again very important because if you keep doing stuff like this and you don't follow it up the consumer will find you out right uh, we also have a very um, one of the first first ones to talk about uh, lgbtqi having joint accounts uh, we put it out i am just giving an example of how we put it out i think 3 years back and the branch staff was not trained well enough and then a couple walked in in uh, bangalore and then we had to help to pay for right so right now uh, sometimes when you make these announcements you really need to make sure in a retail organization like us that you have uh, some of this going i don't know i don't have too much time but i'm going to try and see if we can from this is something else we did for uh, women's day but i'm going to uh, there was a trend called girl math how many of you have heard about this which is re really making fun of how women do math but we took that on uh, using our brand voice during uh, women's day this year and then skip is not going to pay it a financial trend maybe i should at least short maybe a second not being successful with this okay maybe it's a sign i'll I, play it i'm looking at there's a timer here It stresses me. A financial trend has recently taken over the internet. Girl math. Girl If you buy an item on sale, you're practically making money. Girl math. The source of many laughs and millions of likes. But have we thought about the real implications behind this trend? We are living in an age where over 15 million Indian women run their own businesses. About 34% of NASA's active astronauts are women. Even the world's first software engineer was a woman. And most recently, about 100 women scientists contributed to India's historic moon landing mission. So, shouldn't this be the real girl math? From fighting for rights to fighting for recognition, years have been dedicated to this cause. Let's not let one internet trend set us back. Instead, let's set the rules for the real girl math and build a world of finance without bias. Access Bank, dil se open. Yeah. So that, moving on, so both of those didn't have products. Uh this one has a product. I'm not going to play it. It's just about it's a personal loan. 
uh, because the timer is saying 33 seconds and I'm definitely not going to finish in 33. Uh, but basically, how do you give this generation products that they can use? Uh, I also most that's because Rohit's following me. Uh, reason. Uh, let me go through this one. Uh, the other product, this one I will play, is about credit cards. How do you make it appealing to this generation? This is something that we did last year. The sound. <laughs> Oh no. Inspirational for them. This we did ourselves, but I think what we are now doing is we have realized that our voice is not that authentic for the customer because it's still brand speak. So how do you actually collaborate with people? You guys know I've been traveling a lot lately. I'm not going to play this one. I'm going to play one more that we created uh, with influencers. So normally as a firm you would make your own ads. We didn't make this one. We got content that was already on Instagram and we used that. We of course paid for it, but it was much more simpler and much more authentic and we saw much higher brand lift really than something like that. Very quick, very peppy, made by influencers, not made by us. It seems more authentic than us making it. So again, just to summarize, these are the four things you need to do. Like I said, I'm not the expert, and I'm totally over time. Uh, but that's, that's, that's the presentation I had for you guys today. Thank you.